Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation and in today's video we want to apply a new approach that is a unique approach that you should all understand. Now solution from here, solution from here, the first thing is to take 5 to power 6 on the left hand side so that we'll have x to power 6 minus 5 to power 6 this is equal to 0. We can express x to power 6 as x to power 2, this to power 3, minus 5 to power 6, which you can express as 5 squared, this to power 3. This is equal to 0. Now, this equation is actually in the form of difference of two cubes, which we can express as a cubed minus b cube, which is equal to a minus b a squared plus a times b, then plus b squared. Applying this identity, then here we'll have, now from this part, we have that a is equal to x squared, b is equal to 5 squared, okay? So the next step from here, we'll have a minus b, that is x squared minus 5 squared, close the bracket. And then here, we have a squared, which is x squared raised to power 2, then plus 5 squared, which is 25, times a, which is x squared, then plus b squared, which is which is actually equal to 25 squared, this is 625, close the bracket. This is now equal to 0. So we have two parts here. The, the first part is here, which is x squared minus 5 squared, this is equal to 0. This is the first part. The second part is here, which is x squared raised to power 2 then plus 25x squared, then plus 625, this is equal to 0. Now, let's call this equation 1 and this equation 2. Now, from equation 1, which is x squared minus 5 squared, this is actually in the form of a squared minus b squared, which we can express as a minus b, a plus b. So applying this identity, then x squared minus 5 squared, that is x squared minus 5 squared, this can be expressed as x minus 5, then x plus 5, this is equal to 0. So this implies that we have two parts here, we have x minus 5, this is equal to 0. And we have that x plus 5, this is equal to 0. So this implies that the first value of x, that is x1, is equal to 5. And we have here x plus 5 equal to 0. This implies that x2 is equal to minus 5. So these are the first real solutions that we have. Now, we have now the second equation here. Now, the second equation here, this is a polynomial of fourth degree. We have this as x to power 4 plus 25x squared plus 625. This is equal to 0. Now, when you take this polynomial equation, there's something we can note here. There's something we can note here. That is x squared plus 25 squared and also we can note that here we have also something like 5x squared now from this part here if we say x squared plus 25 squared this is the same thing as x to power 4 plus here we'll have 50 x to power 2, then plus 25 squared, which is 625. 
from the second part here, which is 5x to the power 2, this is the same thing as 25x squared. So if I subtract, if we subtract the first part here, subtract the second part, if we subtract this part here, with the second part, that is x to the power 4 plus 50x to the power 2 plus 625, subtract 25x to the power 2, this is equal to 0. Now, if we subtract here, we'll have x to the power 4 plus 50x squared minus 25x squared, this is 25x to the power 2, then plus 625, this is equal to 0. So, we are able to obtain the original polynomial equation. We are able to obtain the original polynomial equation, which is the same thing as this. So, this implies that this polynomial equation, that is x to the power 4 plus 25x squared plus 625, this is actually, we can apply the difference of two squares trick, the difference of two squares. So applying this property, that is, we have that, we have that x to the power 4, plus 25x squared plus 625. This is the same thing as x squared plus 25 squared. Subtract 5x squared. This is equal to 0. This is the same thing. So this is the difference of two squares. So we can apply the difference of two squares identity. That is x squared minus y squared, this is equal to x plus y, then we'll have x minus y. So from what we have here, we have that x is equal to x squared plus 25, and we have that y is equal to 5x. So from this part, we have that x plus y. This is the same thing as x squared plus 25, then plus 5x. This is equal to 0. Now here we form a quadratic equation, which is x squared plus 5x plus 25. This is equal to 0. This is the first quadratic equation. And we have here x minus y which is x squared plus 25, then by minus 5x, this is equal to 0. So we can form a quadratic equation, which is x squared minus 5x plus 2, that is 25, this is equal to 0. Now you can see we have two quadratic equations, that is equation 1 here and equation 2 here. So this becomes so easy to solve. So let's start with case one here. Let's start with case one. Case one, we have x squared plus 5x plus 25. This is equal to zero. So this is a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. This is equal to zero. So from this quadratic equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 5, and c is equal to 25. So let's, now applying the quadratic formula here, we will have x3, x4 equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c divided by 2 times a. So let's substitute the values of a, b, and c. We'll have minus 5 plus or minus the square root of b squared, this is 5 squared, minus, we have 4 times a, which is 1, then times c, which is 25, divided by 2 times 1. So this is the same thing as minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 
5 squared, this is 25, minus 25 times 4, which is 100, divided by 2. So this is the same thing as minus 5, plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 100, this is minus 75, divided by 2. So this is equal to minus 5, plus or minus, we can express the square root of minus 75 as square root of 25 times 3 times minus 1 divided by 2. So this is the same thing as minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 25, this is 5. The square root of minus 1, this is i, then square root of 3 divided by 2. So here we have two complex solutions. We have two complex solutions here. That is x3 and x4. So let's proceed to case 2. Let's proceed to case 2. Case 2 we have x to power 2 subtract 5x plus 25. This is equal to 0. Now, from this part, we have that a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 5, and c is equal to 25. So from this part, we can apply the quadratic formula. So for x5 and x6, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, all this divided by 2 times a. Substituting the values of a, b, and c, we'll have that this is minus, minus 5, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is minus 5 squared, minus 4, times a, which is 1, then times c, which is 25, all this divided by 2. We have x5, x6, this is minus minus 5, which is the same thing as 5 plus or minus the square root of minus 5 squared, this is 25, minus 25 times 4, this is 100, divided by 2. So here we have 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 100, this is minus 75 divided by 2. So here we'll have 5 plus or minus. We can express the square root of minus 75 as square root of 25 times 3 times minus 1 divided by 2. So this implies that here we have 5 plus or minus the square root of 25. This is 5. The square root of minus 1, this is i, then square root of 3, all this divided by 2. So again here, we have two complex solutions here. We have two complex solutions. That is x5, comma, x6. So essentially we have six solutions here. We have six solutions. That is x1 is equal to 5, x2 is equal to minus 5. These are two real solutions. These are two real solutions. And then we have x3, comma x4. This is equal to negative 5 plus or minus 5i square root of 3 divided by 2. And then we have x5, comma, x6. This is equal to 5 plus or minus 5i square root of 3 divided by 2. So these are four complex solutions. These are four complex solutions. So kind of follow the steps. Like this video. And Please subscribe, kindly subscribe. 
see you in the next video